The Cube presents On the Ground. Hello everyone, welcome to a special exclusive On the Ground here at Oracle's headquarters in Redwood City. This is The Cube, I'm John Furrier, the host of The Cube. I'm here with friend Jagain from WAN Disco, who has been a Cube alumni, I've been on many times. Great to see you here at Oracle. Afternoon welcome John. back. So, um, when Disco, you guys had a lot of success lately with the new business model, you're OEMing your solution. A lot of traction with the success that you've had over the years. You've been, had an original distribution of Hadoop. You've seen everything yes. from the beginning. Give us an update on where you guys out are here now and what the business model is for WAN Disco. Thanks, John. As you know, we're WAN Disco, Wide Area Network Distributed Computing. We do replication over the WAN. And the modern data center looks a lot like van links with cloud components and on-prem custom hardware such as the Oracle BDA. In that world, the replication capabilities we bring are very important to customers. We are the only solution that does a Paxos-based, strongly consistent replication, which means zero RPO, zero RTO, great availability of data. If you want to take your enterprise-grade applications to production, we are the only path to doing that. You know, we've always chatted when I see David, I say the same thing. It's like, you guys have had such good success with the replications. It's one of those things that's under the hood. You got to look under the hood. The engine of innovation coming from the Hadoop and now big data ecosystem is, how do you make the data move around fast? And how do you make it reliable? That enterprise grade Hadoop has always been a, a nut that no one could crack except for you guys. But take me through how it's playing out in today as the ecosystem of big data is going much further beyond Hadoop. Oracle's big data appliance, for instance, is in production, they got a lot more stuff coming out. It's just one of many connection points right. that big data is going to go into. What's the, what's, what's, the, what's the state of the union now relative to this new configuration? So what we're seeing is that Homebrew is out, it's engineered appliances, it's cloud solutions, and a plethora of these. It's not just one specific application like Hive. There are many legitimate choices for solving the problems, and the one underlying problem that remains is getting consistent data to all of these applications. That's where we step in. An analogous example would be to consider the cell phone market, right? 15 years ago, there were Nokia communicators <laughs> with a primitive form of email, then Blackberries with email again. But now you see the Apple iPhones and the Android machines, the infrastructure that supports apps running on those is phenomenal. It took a lot of work and a huge amount of software to make that work. We feel that we play that sort of a role. In the Oracle BDA, the replication capabilities we bring extend the data center to beyond that single BDA to perhaps a cloud instance of a BDA, perhaps a cloud instance of another distribution. That sort of cross-platform replication is what's driving our success. The WAN and WAN Disco wide area network Indeed. we all know from the old days is essentially linked between inter-office and or clouds. Correct. In this case, it's legitimately linked between a data center and multiple cloud environments. So is that kind of the key to your success is to say, if you've got Oracle, big data appliance, BDA, and you're going to connect somewhere else, you're going to be that, yes. that uh, fault tolerant ring? Exactly right, you got it exactly right. Often customers have interest in long distance disaster recovery capabilities. They have some stuff they want to run up in the cloud. They want a whole lot of their regular compute on-prem. We solve all of these replication problems for them. So I got to ask you a question. So most people will say, ah, replication, we'll figure it out later. Is that, um, is that the case or not? I mean, most people probably aren't saying that because of the recent, uh, you've seen everything from the New York floods back in the, the hurricane days and you know, with all those kind of earthquakes going on these days. I mean, this is probably front and center or is it more of an afterthought? It is front and center. The folks that we sell to are folks IT folks right on the front lines. They understand the pain of not having applications available or the data availability. Mm -hmm. So they do understand the problems that we solve and 
it's somewhat under the covers for end users of, of big data systems, but the IT staff that provide these and capabilities. And users should be transparent to them, right? Indeed, I mean, they don't even know. It's invisible. If it works, exactly. it works. Exactly. And, uh, but that, IT, they have to have this into the architecture. Correct. That's where we get most of our traction. They look at it and go, this is a great way to solve the problem. You mentioned you're the only ones who do that. You know, competition, you feel you guys are well ahead of the competition? We are well ahead of the competition because of our mastery of the Paxos algorithm. And as you know before, our chief scientist spent many years in his garage coming up with our solution. And that's where we have our magic sauce. And so no one has that? No one has that. That's Not unique that. to you guys. That is All right, how does that fit into the Oracle configuration now? Does that extend their solution out? Do they have it end to end? Is it mostly, how does it get so provisioned it's well, out there? It's well integrated into the Oracle BDA. It extends the on-prem BDA to perhaps a cloud instance of the BDA or another on-prem instance in a different location. We even have a number of customers with BDAs side by side and they're replicating across those. So what's the scenario then? And you obviously you guys think you're the best and uh, I believe you were, we follow you guys. But let's just say a customer say, hey, you know what? Wendisco, we're just going to go with Cloud Air or Hortonworks. So these guys have replication or, you know, this startup just came out of, you know, Series A funding. that They have this new replication thing. We're going to go with them. What's the impact of them? What are some of the risks associated with, with taking a chance on a non-proven replication? So the first thing that customers experience, the first problem, is that the data is not current because all the solutions offered by the distro vendors are batch, they run once an hour, and then it takes too much CPU, say so they run once four hours, often you have to run it once a week when there's no load on the system. We offer continuous replication. Every change that's made in either of the systems, remember both systems are active, that's the magic of our solution, the changes are coordinated and replicated. So that immediate availability and the zero RTO disaster recovery capabilities shines as the biggest feature for our customers. So what's the relationship with Oracle? A business deal? Is there engineering involved? Are you guys part of the solution? You guys sell together? Are they selling your stuff? Can you explain that? All of the above. There was some engineering involved, but all that's done, as far as the customer's con concerned, it's completely integrated, well supported, and as any engineered appliance should offer, it's a single point solution for the customer. So you bring your unique secret sauce and replication to the Oracle BDA, and does this extend to the cloud machine stuff? Yes, it extends to the cloud machines. It extends to distributions other than uh, what you may be running on the BDA. It extends to cloud instances where the storage can be different. It's S3, for example, or an object store such as the Swift one that other cloud vendors are providing. We replicate across all of those very well. So again, thanks for spending some time here on the ground. We are here at the Oracle headquarters for a special CUBE exclusive on the ground coverage. I'm John Furrier, thanks for watching.